What is up, you guys? Avery here, and the brand new May 2022 ban list is here. Make sure that you smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button because this ban list is way better than Master Shits, and man, it is a fantastic list. There are some things that I'm really scared about, but man, if I hadn't been out all damn day, I would have definitely made a video about this the moment it came out. So I do apologize for the delay. Also, before we get into the ban list, be sure to look at the poll I posted the other day on the community tab on the channel. I asked if you would like to see a Fallout New Vegas Let's Play, and it would be in a podcast style where I'd be talking about Yu-Gi-Oh!, the game, life, the universe, things that are particularly interesting to me. So if you want to see something like that on the channel, be sure to go and vote over at the poll underneath the community tab on the channel. So let's go ahead and dive into this balance because it's freaking wild. So first of all, they banned Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, Meow Meow Moo, and Verte Anaconda because you got no buns, hun. That's what I'm talking about. Verte Anaconda sucks ass. It, it blows ass. It's a piece of shit card. It limits card design. It If you play Anaconda and you think it's healthy for the game, please just let the door hit your ass on the way out. Anaconda is toxic as, as shit. Uh, Meow Meow Moo. You know, I really feel that this needed to happen because it went from 3 to 1 and Prank Kids became a tier 1 deck still. Now that it's banned, yeah, unfortunately Prank Kids are dead, but I really don't give a damn at this point because this format was so freaking stale. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast Aurora Dawn, look, tokens are inherently bad for the game due to links. Um, yeah, this, this piece of shit card needed to go. Uh, and that is it. For the bands. For the limits now, we have Jet Synchron because Alky Fibrax is at one. Perform a pal monkey board because we've got the brand new Pendulum Link Monster. I'm sure they want to kind of push Pendulum Magicians now. And Red Rose Dragon at one for a based hit. Um, Jet Synchron is really kind of whatever because Alky Fibrax is at one. And Perform a pal monkey board, you know, we are now in a format where we have Skull Crabat Joker, monkey board. Um, still no plush fire, uh, still, uh, well, we have Astrograph now, um, but the, Pepe's not back at full power, and I actually, I think it's funny that Monkey Board is coming back because I'm making a Yu-Gi-Oh! retrospective on Pepe format, so, you know, between Performer Pal Pendulum Sorcerer and Monkey Board and Skull Crabat Joker, plus the new Pendulum Link, it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with this deck. So definitely keep an eye on Pendulums. And we're bringing back Yadagurasu and Hauki Fibrax and Shooting Riser Dragon are all at one. So Capital G said that he thinks that Yada could have came back a long time ago because it's just such a slow card. But here's my thing. And I, I made this as a reply to someone's comment when I had talked about uh, a ban list quite a while ago on the channel. And someone had said Yada isn't even that broken because it's too slow. But my thing with Yada is that if it attacks directly and you take damage from it and you can't draw on your next turn, if you have a brick of a hand, then there's nothing that you can do. You are now in the Yada lock. So if you open up a hand of booty booty butt cheeks and you just pass turn and the opponent hits you with Yada, then you just lost the game. So I really don't know if Yada coming back to one should really happen. This is... This is a bit of a danger zone here, but at the same time, I will admit that it's pretty cool that it's coming back to one. And then we have Change of Heart to one. So this has no errata. It's still busted as shit, um, and it's a really good side deck card, and honestly, I think it's a really good main deck card. Because now we're in a format with one Change of Heart. Brain Control's been errata, so it's really not all that good. Um, we have Mind Control at, I believe, one. Uh, yes, so we have one mind control and one change of heart. I'm really curious to see what happens with this. Uh, <laughs> Konami is, is smoking some of that good good, and so uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see what they do with uh, with one change of heart and what the community decides to do. And then we have time seal at one because Konami, I think, just looked at the format and said, you know what, we want hand loops to come back. We don't want you drawing cards. We want hand control from 2003 to come back in full force. Um, yeah, it's not good on turn one, but, like, why? And I think the reason why they're bringing back all these cards is because they're doing what they did back in, like, Necroz format, where they unban a card, see how it does for a format, and then reban it. 
So, like, if you remember, they unbanned Snatch Steel, and it instantly became a Tier 1 card overnight, especially in Necroz, and then they rebanned it on the next ban list. So I'm curious to see if we'll see anything like that happen with these hits, um, because keep in mind, this ban list is effective today, on the 17th. YCS Hartford is at the end of the month, which I think really screws a lot of people over that already submitted their deck list, but regardless, um, yeah, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what Hartford does for the meta. And then we've got uh, True Draco Fighter at 2. Sure, no one's going to play True Draco. Ben 10 at 2 because Eva's banned. Sure. Tenki at 2, uh, I guess. Tri Brigade isn't really doing anything. Uh, Fusion Destiny and Deer Servant are still at 2. Desires, Light Stage, and Wall of Revealing Light all at 2. So I think Konami saw the backlash that people were like, Desires at 1, what the hell. And I think that they just decided to give that card back to two. And it also helps Grimmaju a little bit. Wall of Revealing Light, this shit could come back to three. No one's going to be playing Wall of Revealing Light. I feel like that this is like one of those cards that Konami has just forgotten about over the years. And they're looking through the ban list and they're like, what can we bring back? You know what? Wall of Revealing Light. That that card, no one's going to play that shit. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then Trickstar Light Stage, this card could come back to three. It was a hit that got hit because of Orcist with... Uh, what do you call it? Set rotation. So I'm very excited to see what Trick Stars can do with a double light stage. Hopefully it'll come back to three on the next list in like three months from now. Um, because light stage is a non-once per turn rota for the deck. I might have to pick up Trick Star and start playing that again. Then at three, we have Night Assailant. It got Narada. Trishula at three, get ready for hand loops. Mirage Stallio, sure. A Hero Lives, sure. Salaman Great and Scapegoat, sure. So now Salaman Great. Uh, is at full power minus Gazelle. Gazelle is still at one. Everything else in the deck is at three. You're still going to have that one guy in the room who's going to top with Salad randomly and then not show his deck list because he thinks he has all the spice in the room, even though people are just going to figure it out fucking eventually. <laughs> so, you know, uh, cool. Salad is a little bit better of a rogue deck now that you've got one more Circle and uh, two more Mirage Stallio. So, good on you. Um, as for what I think is going to happen in this format, I think you're going to see a lot of people experimenting with Change of Heart, Trishula, and Time Seal, and Yadagarasu. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe we saw like a hand control roguish deck pop up into the format. Um, it's it's going to be really interesting. Now, as for like tier 1 decks, <laughs> uh, literally all Konami did was take base out back and shoot it. That's all that they did. Brandon is still tier 1. Sword Soul is still tier 1. Flunderies is still tier 1. Prank Kids dropped to Rogue. Um, <laughs> like that, that's really all that happens. Like if you're playing branded, good on you because, you know, your deck didn't get touched at all. Also, the Brave Engine did not get hit. The Brave Engine is still at full power, which means Illegal Knight is going to be a 5 to $10 card. And Mystic Mine Burn is still a deck. Mystic Mine is still at 3. Man, my dad's going to be getting into some baby back bullshit with Mystic Mind Burn. So if you're a Mystic Mind player, good for you. Shout out to uh, my subscriber, Tabers Blissom, who absolutely loves burn decks. Um, because Mystic Mind Burn is still at full power, ready to go. And I'm really interested to see that they did not hit Pot of Extravagance or Pot of Prosperity. They only brought Desires from 1 to 2. They didn't touch any of the other pot cards. But I will say this. Konami... If you're going to be going back and bringing back, like, old-ass cards that have been banned for, like, 20-plus years um, back into the meta, um, I have a few suggestions. <laughs> Can we bring back... Actually, no, not Metamorphosis. That shit's too broke. Let's bring back Pot of Greed to 1 and just watch the world burn. Um... Let's do, like, what else can we do here? Let's bring back Delinquent Duo, since you want everybody to just start using hand control decks again. Let's do Confiscation. Let's do Carter Safe Return and give it a hard once per turn errata. Um, Elma, because nobody will play it. Um, yeah. A Graceful Charity, too, because, like, why not? Like, let's just throw all the balls to the wall. Also, let's bring back World Oppression Self-Destruct Button, because I became famous for Self-Destruct Button for a while. That's how I got a lot of my subscribers. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know about what you think of this ban list in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video, because we've got a whole bunch of videos to make talking about tier lists and top five decks for the format. It's, it's going to be great. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.